성관계는요? 안 hour 10 minutes or an hour 5 minutes but when i got started i actually saw that this is really a unique product and i've said this before if you see my other reviews such as, on k dramas such as uh, the tale of the nine tail i think i've reviewed reviewed my shy boss or the introverted boss that's the alternate title you'd get to understand that one of the greatest cells that the south koreans have is quality in terms of technical delivery. I know, I've said this before even in my own classes that uh, there's much more to a good story, there's much more to filmmaking than the technicalities of a beautiful shot or classic coloring or good editing or amazing soundtracks. It's more of how you bring all these elements together in a way that does justice to the story that you wish to tell. And that's why these K-dramas are so popular abroad. And that's why I guess even in terms of selling, Netflix has been pretty much open to acquiring these K-dramas from their original parent stations. The world of the married is no different. Being the first time I ever got in touch with this kind of product, I was really amazed at the tempo, I was amazed at the creativity, I was amazed at the realism presented in a way that can hook an audience. And you know, that's the first thing you do in any form of media, is if you can hook your audience within the, the shortest time possible, it's likely that you will keep them until the end of your story. Uh, the story basically is about a couple that finds itself uh, put in the crosshairs of the usual tension. Is there cheating? Is there not cheating? And we have a filmmaker as the man, and the woman I think is a doctor, And we have all these conflicts that we usually see, even in the real world. And it makes, again, as I said, this a very relatable picture. I like the subtleties that go into the storytelling, how they use cues, how they lead you in one way. You think this person is probably the bad guy and then it just twists. I know, I will not spoil for you. I'm all anti-spoiler. My job with these reviews is to tell you, is it worth watching? or is it not worth watching and for sure without any doubt the world of the married is a must watch i would have to say however towards the last four episodes probably from episode 12 going on to the finish it kind of goes into free fall and what we saw within the first 10 episodes as a very promising high intense engaging kind of story uh, deteriorates I will not say why, but I will let you watch it for the first time and you will get to understand why I point this out. Progression, tempo, everything was good up to this point where I say it goes into free fall. The acting was exemplary. As you can see, I would refer you, if you've not watched any K-drama at all, even before watching The World of the Married, I would probably recommend that you watch um, my shy boss or introverted boss that's the alternate title and get to understand the the genre of that is k drama and then from there if you watch this you will even appreciate it more i did it i did it the other way around entered into this which has a slower tempo and then got into my shy boss and other various uh k drama genres within the broader genre of k drama so this is probably going to be my last review for the year or 2023 i hope to keep doing more reviews towards the end of this year my review 
tally has dropped because I've been really busy with other projects. But I hope in the coming year, 2024, I will be able to deliver more qualitative, more consistent uh, reviews, both on films and video games for those of you who enjoy this kind of thing. So my rating for The World of the Married is 8 over 10. Till the next review, peace. And also stay safe this holiday season. Don't overindulge. Don't do anything that would put yourself or others at risk. Peace.